Hey everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Born a Champion. Dennis Quaid is the only name I recognize. Sean Patrick Flannery seems familiar, the name. I mean, I guess it's very Irish. That's probably why I recognize it. The face doesn't, but maybe when I see him, uh, it'll make more sense. But evidently, uh, this is about a character who was one of the first American black belts in jiu-jitsu. Um, and he gets pulled away from everything he loves into an unsanctioned MMA fight. I don't know. That's one of the descriptions. I never know what they mean usually, but uh, I think it could be pretty interesting. It's an hour and 51 minutes long. IMDb has it currently at 6.7, which is pretty good. However, only 158 people so far have rated it. So, we'll see how good it is. Let me get into it here, find out what it's about, give you a better idea, and then let you know what I think. Stick around. Hey everybody, I want to do a quick check in here. We're watching Born a Champion. We're at the 53 minute 11 second mark. So there's about an hour left still, so under halfway. But I wanted to stop it here. Uh, a couple of interesting things. So it's a good movie. And, uh, you know, Mickey is uh, a jujitsu, you know, master, blacked out, whatever. Um, and uh, it, there's, there's a whole nice story behind him, him meeting his, his wife, kid. Uh, but the biggest part is that, uh, you know, he gets the opportunity. This is like, it takes place, you know, throughout the 90s here. So I think it starts us off in like 92, maybe 93, something like that. Early 90s, right? And before M MMA was big. So it's kind of showing the evolution. Um, so he gets involved in a fight that uh, um, he can win a lot of money for his wife and his unborn son. Things don't go his way. And that's kind of what pulls him out of the... Um, MMA fighting or fighting altogether because he really takes a beating um, and I'll let you see why and how and all that kind of thing but it, uh, you know he's back focusing on his family um, and then you know I, it starts to resurface what happened in his fight which I think is going to draw him back for another fight you know although he's kind of retired from it just teaching on the side kind of stuff. Um, but some of the interesting pieces of it are, first it starts off, I don't think it's based on a true story, but they kind of play it like it is. They talk like a documentary. So his best friend Taco starts off the whole movie by him talking to somebody behind the camera as though they're interviewing him for a documentary. And he does a pretty nice job. It's kind of funny. Like when you watch documentaries, you know, they say the same kind of stuff. And, and I thought that was funny. And then now you know he's a... a uh, an actor in the movie it doesn't you know it's still good it's a good theme I think but it's not as believable as the first time you're watching it I thought I found that pretty cool um, and I like him I think he's a funny guy taco you know for the most part I like his character um, but you know so there's that side of it and two the other side of it is you know how I said it's like the evolution of MMA and we're watching the the origin story of all that kind of stuff well it's, it's also going through time because that first fight that I talked about was on a VCR tape. So the, the Sheik's son had a VCR tape of it and he shows his buddy. And his buddy, he's like, oh, i got to show this to my brother. And he's like, oh, when's he coming back into town? We could show him. He's like, I'll just upload it. So, you know, here we are later in the 90s when you can actually upload stuff and get it viewed on the Internet, you know, and you're seeing the evolution of, like, the Internet as well. So I like that. Like, and that's what struck me to say, hey, let's pause it and let's share. But so far, so good. Um, it's pretty neat. Like, he has a relationship. I say it's a chic. I don't know. He goes over to Dubai to meet with some high up. Um, person over there and help teach his son who we see later in years you know how to do jujitsu so and that's kind of where he meets his wife stuff and there's a whole story with that um, but you know that's interesting I like how this is all playing out I think I think it's pretty neat how they're how they're doing it um, and it's not like you know an Oscar award-winning film or anything like that but it is you know reminds me of best of the best kind of stuff so that's where we are I'm enjoying it um, but I'm going to get back into it. There's an hour left, so there's probably a lot going to happen. But stick around. I'll let you know if anything interesting happens between now and then. I'll check back in. If not, I'll see you at the credits. Give me my final thoughts. Stick around. Hey, 
Hey everybody, we're at the credits of Born a Champion, and I think, I mean, I enjoyed this movie 99% of it, and I'll get to that. Um, but I th I still like what they did with the whole documentary thing. Um, even at the end, they're showing, like, be real, but it's of the actors, you know, of, like, you know, post documentary stuff going on and you know it's, it's kind of neat the way that they did the whole thing and they have other you know I told you about Taco and he's doing the interview there's another one um, Pitts who's like a part of the um, training and stuff like that he has like and the way they set it up it's just I, I just like it you know what I mean? it just really worked because it really makes it seem like they're filming a documentary sort of you know what I mean I, th I just think they did a good job now there are scenes um, as I mentioned Dennis Quaid lobbying the Senate I would say. I don't know if that's exactly right, but he's in in the courtroom with, like, John McCain. Um, and that scene, when you see it, it is awful. It's because it's, like, I don't know if it's CGI'd or, you know, it's just, like, his head on somebody else's body. And even the people in the background, it looks really, really bad. So prepare yourself for that piece. That piece didn't bother me much, but I'm sure others will see that and be like, how ridiculous. It, that piece was bad. Um, but, like... Uh, like Dennis Quaid's part, he's part. He's the manager of the the other MMA fighter, uh, whatever his name, Blaine, right? Um, so he's all about you know making him great, and he, you know so he was underplayed throughout the entire movie, but they they use him in the end in a pretty good way, and I thought it was great. It was foreshadowed enough to make it interesting because it played on my mind from the, from the opening comments from Taco to the end and that's you know what I mean it's it's just enough to be like huh they're not even from Taco it's from the girl interviewing Taco you'll you just make sure you're paying attention in the beginning and it, and it plays out pretty well I think that whole piece the one percent of the movie I didn't like was the final fight right the final fight was okay but I think they went a little bit too far, you know. Um, I'll just put it at that. That's all I'm going to say. I don't want to go into too much detail. I think you'll know what I mean. Um, you know, watching this entire film and and uh, things that this guy has gone through to get to where he is, it's like really, <laughs> you know. Ugh. So you know, that was my only gripe. Everything else, I thought was great. I thought it was. Uh, really good. And Sean Patrick Flannery uh, from Boondock Saints with Norman Reedus. So if you haven't seen that movie, check that out. That's where he, that's where I recognize him from. Um, so, but all in all, I think this is, you know, if I was still doing Guys Nights with everybody, this would probably be my pick for Guys Nights. It's got that, you know, feel to it. Again, it's not, when I watch it, I think of the best of the best, you know, and if you've ever seen that one before, uh, with, uh, well, now I forget his name. But anyway, um, oh, that's going to bother me. Because I just thought it was named Eric Roberts. <laughs> Elder. But it's filmed the same kind of way, I feel like. If you watched that before, that might have been an 80s or a 90s film. It's kind of filmed like that. And this does take place in the 90s and into the 2000s. So and that whole transition, the whole um, transition from the, the birth of MMA with jujitsu and, and fighting and stuff like that and and uh, you know going from VCR tapes to uploading to the internet to message boards uh, and I, I liked it all I thought it was all good except for that uh, that one piece that I told you about so there you go if you like and, and you know I also caution yourself I'm not an MMA expert I like to watch it um, you know and and stuff like that so I don't know like if the moves were bad or anything like that so you know I'm sure they might not have been technically accurate I have no idea I'm not getting into that um, so that might be an area that other people might be bothered with but if you're not one of those people and maybe it is all perfect I don't know um, if you're not one of those or whatever I think this is if you like those kinds of fighting movies with a purpose behind them this one's for you check it out I liked it um, I don't care about all the other things except for that piece, the acting, whatever. You know, I don't think there was bad acting um, that, that I can recall. I mean, there you go. And I wonder, I want to check to see if the kid 
who so Mickey Kelly was our fighter's name. He was played by Sean Patrick Captain Sean Patrick Flannery. And there's a kid that they have later, and I wonder if that's really his kid. I'll bet you. I don't know. I didn't look it up, but we'll find out. I'll look at it afterwards. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling. Go check this out. I think you'll enjoy it. It's worth the watch. You know where the areas are to watch out for. I, I warned you about those, but don't pay any attention. Just enjoy the movie. All right, that's it. Hopefully I was helpful. If I was, drop some comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. More importantly, tell all your friends. No, and continue to tune in. Kimmel's Irish Pub.